morning guys and welcome to today. Today is Monday, Easter Monday. We are driving to the tech store because Sophie's starting Western lessons. I don't know if she's gonna like Western lessons. I don't know if it's gonna be like what she wants to do. But one thing I know for sure, she needs boots. She needs some kind of boots and we left it to the last second because that's what I do, that's what I'm like. But we're gonna go and see if they have something that will work for her. There's a couple of different options. We're gonna try some cowboy boots and if they don't work because she has such wide feet, then we're gonna try some paddock boots or some like horseshoe boots. I've heard, I've never seen those at our tag store. But we've never really shopped in the western section. We've never shopped in the western section. I've got cowboy boots before. Yeah, yeah. You have gotten cowboy boots before. But we're gonna go see if we can get something quick before riding lessons start today. Uh, we got Ellie here. Gabby's still sleeping. <laughs> we have Ellie here. This is her spot now. It's so weird how she sits in the car. She lays here and then she hangs her bum off the edge. <laughs> the more off the edge she likes. Anyway, she also needs a haircut so badly. Like she's starting to get really scruffy, especially around here. But I'm trying to like grow her hair at the same time. And then she has these flyaway pieces that never make it up into her pony that are annoying. <laughs> so I think that we're just in a stage where we have to out, we have to grow out her hair. But she will have a haircut before summer for sure because she needs it. But right now, Sophie needs some kind of riding boots. Let's pray that we can find something to start our lessons today. If not, I will figure out something else and maybe have to order them. And if anything, if we can't find anything that we need today, then maybe we can at least get a style that, she, like if we can't find her size today, at least maybe we can narrow down a style that she likes and then we can order them. I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna happen. Well, let's go to the tech store. We're on a time crunch, but I'm thinking like something like nice. these, mm -hmm. these areas these are, these are short too, aren't they? that are like a wide, you can get them in wide. I don't like how like, thick this part is. I know, and maybe those ones are steel toe. All right, let's, let's try on a few. They have a supply, they have a variety. We're gonna try some on. These are kind of cute. All right, we got Ellie here. She's allowed in this store. Do they do okay. they fit, Sophie? Yeah, this one's already loosened a lot more than this one. So they're gonna probably be like a sloppier fit, like she said. Do you mind that? No, because my other ones were kind of big. sloppy. Yeah, you like that fit. All right, square toe versus pointy toe. Those ones look bigger. I can't get it off my heel. She she's high right here so that's why it's such a struggle I can't get it over my heels okay i have the same problem yeah. with my feet oh yeah because they're baggy you just there i have so much more room in these like they're not putting pressure on my feet yeah anymore. just because that square toe has that wider width to it but so where's your toe you on that room. because that looks so uh, tall like right here are you good with those ones yeah the blue ones like color yeah she likes this color better too yeah, those are cute. So I like these too. Do you like these, Sophie? No. See, I, I would ride in these. They're honestly the most comfortable boots I've ever worn. Yeah, the most comfortable boots. I don't know, I like them. I'm thinking about getting something like that. Because I don't like wearing English boots all the time. Okay, these are the ones that she got. She got Durango's. And she got blue, and she really likes the blue. She had blue when she was younger. And they are super cute. They're not like super long. They are a tiny bit tight, but they are gonna, they're gonna like, they're tight, but not painful. That's what they are. They're tight, but not painful. Just slightly tight, but she can get them on and off easily. And she likes them. So these are her new riding boots. Like running shoes. Look they do look like running shoes. I love them. Soft. We already know them. Uh, I don't know if you should wear them everywhere. If you're gonna be riding in them for like your lessons, I think you should save them. All cowgirls do that. All cowgirls do that. Sophie's gonna be a cowgirl. Go home. How much time do we have? We saw Kaylee at the barn, or we saw Kaylee at the store. Yeah. And we all like the same cashier, the same lady. So when we got there, our girl that works in the store that we love was helping Kaylee and her dad, and then. We made her help us too. <laughs> we got her to help us because she's amazing. I put an egg in vinegar because I saw a TikTok where if you put an egg in vinegar, 
Then it just gets rid of the eggshell and it's like a bouncy egg. Like a bouncy ball egg, did it work? Yeah. It actually worked, you guys. It is so freaky. So she put an egg in vinegar and it turned into this. I can't believe it actually worked. How weird is that? Don't pop it. It's not even a joke. Try it. I can see the yolk. Woo! It's in my purse. It's a joke. It's not a joke. I swear to God. It is the weirdest thing. Oh. Don't squish it. Can you believe it? it, it honest to God, it's not a joke. Is it's it a not. joke? Did you prank me? It's, it, it has to be a joke even though it smells like vinegar. No, you can't Ellie's eat it. like, oh, I will eat it. See, you can see the yolk. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can show them. It's leaking. Oh, it's leaking it's now. It's leaking all day. Oh, all right. So, but I'll pop is, it to show you. Isn't that weird? Okay, we're gonna pop it and show you. But that, gee, all it was was vinegar. Ooh. Oh! Wow! Yeah. That's insane. I wonder if he had left it longer. If we had all been like that. All the way through. That's crazy. I'm gonna show Gabby. Crazy. We dropped off Ellie. Picked up Gabby. Collected the eggs. We still only get three eggs a day, and that's okay. Sometimes four. One of our chicklins only lays once a week. I'm assuming she's older. I can tell she's not new to laying, so I assume she's older. Sophie, tell them how you always have an elastic with you. I keep it on my helmet. Yeah, do you wear the same kind of helmets in English and Western? Well, I'm pretty sure they wear cowboy hats. Do they? They don't wear helmets? No, they wear the same helmet. Like, we know nothing about Western, like actual Western lessons. All we know are really? like riding in a Western saddle they versus English saddle. Helmets, they yeah. have the same they helmets? They wear helmets. All right, good. They, they wear helmets. They also have special ones that look like cowboy hats. What? They have special helmets that look like cowboy hats, too. No, they Do they? put cowboy hats over top of them. Oh, it's okay, Sam. I'm hat. old, too. I saw a cowboy hat helmet. It's like nerve-wracking going to a new place because you don't know anybody, you don't know any rules, and we don't know anybody here. Like, well, I like know the coach, sort of. I know um, another friend that I met last summer, her daughter rides here, but they're just like casual acquaintances, not people that I really know. So we're gonna go, I don't know how much we can film, I haven't even asked her if we could film, so I'll ask her, and depending on what she says, I will either show it or not, but hopefully I can show some stuff. At Brandon's, I know what I can film, but at some place new, like, I don't know. I'll see, we'll see. <laughs> hopefully we get to film something, because this is like a rite of passage for her. Like, this is her first actual Western lesson. And I was talking to Kaylee, and Kaylee's like, well, maybe I'll do Western, like, do a couple of Western shows this summer, just, just for fun. Like, we have Storm, who's Western, and she has Oakley that was Western, so. That would be so fun. I've ridden Oakley before. Yeah, I've ridden Oakley, Oakley before too. So this is Smokey. We're here. Sophie just groomed him. He's looking cute. He, she's gone to get his saddle. But this is our first time, like, really having a hitching post at a lesson barn. And the coach is amazing. I love her to death. And she's super upfront and explains everything. And she, everything she says is Chinese to us. We don't understand anything that she says, <laughs> but it's a Western barn and she's got a lot of quarter horses. I love me a quarter horse. This is probably what Sophie's gonna end up with is some big quarter horse. But anyway, Sophie's excited. She's gonna saddle him up. Love that quarter horse butt. So Sophie is um, not gonna do a lot of riding today. She spent like the whole, almost the whole lesson like being shown everything. So this lady, I love her. She's basically showing her from like where everything is and how to tack up Western. Even though Sophie tacks up my horse sometimes, she's showing her how to tack up Western. So they have this really nice bench right here that you can watch lessons and she said I can film. So that's the horse, that's the ring. One of the beauties of joining a new discipline is that you get to start from scratch. This coach didn't know, doesn't know what Sophie knows and what she needs to work on, so they started from the very beginning. They were working on position, they were working on mounting, they were working on how to slow the horse down using your body and not the reins, how to make your house go, horse go without using your reins. I thought it was incredible.
their next lesson, they'll do a lot more. They'll start into trotting. And I think the basis here is that because Sylvia has a background in horses, she'll be able to pick up Western more quickly than if she were just starting from scratch. She'll learn this stuff more quickly and then she'll be able to progress more rapidly than if she was just starting riding from the very beginning. But I love that she started from scratch and that she's going to get to learn a whole new discipline and, and figure out what she really wants to do with horses. Don't you know that?